Hi guys, welcome back. In our previous video, we were going over the strips. Well, today I'm going to show you exactly how to use text, where to do with them, and, well, all options that are available for Wix. Don't miss another one of our videos. Hit subscribe and leave a comment and let me know what you think. And if I didn't cover something, be sure to tell me so I can cover it in our next videos. All right, guys, text. Exactly what it says. Text. So what it's going to do is it's exactly telling you what you want to write on your website. Uh, to make things easier, I've already kind of showed you here. When you click over well, the text, it tells you text in this corner of this box. Now, there's two ways to do this. Uh, if, there's already, if you're already using a preset, you can actually just click on the text, and you can go to Edit Text, click on it, and you can change the title. Like, here you go, you have, once you do this, you have the heading, and that's exactly what it is, the heading. You're going to be able to change the bold, the italics, much like how you're going to do in Word or any other kind of writing document. You're going to have the same options available to you. So you can go to heading and you can actually change the style font, what you want. And when you do that, uh, you just actually hit backspace and you can type. Uh, we can say hello. Uh, just for this purpose. And I'm going to show you. And once you highlight it bold italics the same process as you would use for word document or any other writing formations uh, you can even use bullet points if you wanted to use bullet points underline uh, well everything you can decrease the indent you can even have an effect so if you want the effects to change you have all of these options as well character and line spacing you have that you can create character spacings in between if you want it to be really big and bold here at 0.7 you can do the line spacing for either automatic or you can customize the line spacing in between. So you, all you'll do is just click to where you want it or you can just slide it, uh, whichever is more comfortable for you. You can do a vertical text and you can uh, do, uh, well, the font size here, the same, drag and drop and hello. Uh, once you're doing that, you can even change the color. Uh, red's a little hard for that background. And what you do, and you just click leave it and there you go that's your text uh, you can actually do you can get text ideas which is super cool let's say uh, I want food text right food blog food delivery services so when you just type this in for text ideas it kind of gives you a little hint on what you want to do uh, but you need that little extra plan or idea and you just can't quite find the word that you're looking for so you'll just type in food or a theme you can even say this is actually a restaurant so that's why I type food so you can type in car car dealer dealership services and you just scroll down until you find the text that you would like and it will show you the options about news extended so what's this topic uh, related to and there you go carnival band and once you do you can actually uh, click on the band and there you go pretty cool right uh, another option, so beside the text ideas, you have the animation just before, as I showed you on the strip, you can do the animations and how the text kind of pops in. And so you have that selection as well. Uh, aside from showing you with the pre-selected, what if we don't have a pre-select? Hmm, good question, right? Uh, so the add button, text, and here you go. So you have the titles, big title, all caps, small title, huge title, and you just scroll down. Uh, the other option is a paragraph. If you're wanting to write a paragraph, it kind of sets it up for you. It sets up the strip with the text already in play. Uh, so let's say this one you can select. And that box is a little small, this strip, uh, this text strip. You can drag and make it bigger too. The same. Nothing changes. Edit text, the same format. You can see here, paragraph, paragraph ideas, the animation, nothing changes. Right, so that's a pretty small font and you can make it bigger as well. So that's the options you have. Going to add again, uh, let's go back up to text, the titles, uh, or a theme text, for example, right? Uh, the heading. Let's write it ourselves, shall we? Uh, so you can drag and drop this as well. I'll put this here just to show you. 
make it bigger. And now this is just going to say heading. This is exactly from scratch. This is when you already kind of gotten familiar. Uh, you don't need any help. You put it where you want. Here you go. Uh, once you see it, you're going to have your theme, which is a heading. Your font. I don't like this font, Georgia. Let's go to impact. And you can change the font size, bold, italics, color, all of it is the same. <clears throat> Nothing changes. So even from doing that, and the same, it just says heading, just to kind of give you a little bit of a text. And we're going to say hello again. And there you go. Now, I like that. So let's say you put it in a position uh, somewhere, but you decide you don't like it. Again, it already highlights it when you go over it. And you just click and you drag it and you put it wherever you want. You can take it from to and fro, up and down, wherever you want. Uh, and that's it. The animations, all of it's the exact same for the text, the headings. Uh, <clears throat> so you kind of have free reign for whatever you want to do for your text. Uh, and what the next video is we're going to kind of go over a little bit about the images and how to add different images for you as well because Wix really has a lot of cool options uh, for images and videos as well so don't miss that don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss another video and other cool tips that puts that professionalism in your hands don't waste another moment guys and I will see you next time